James, do you have something to say to me? Uh, I Quit I, dragging it I, on. I feel like I'm lagging. Or maybe I'm looking for a word that rhymes with lag. Being gone. Um, lag on. Dragon. <laughs> I, was I thought wagon. that rhymed in my head, but it didn't. Best intro ever. <laughs> <laughs> on this episode <laughs> of Dicecasters. <laughs> I thought it rhymed, but it didn't. It was a trap. I'm Rob. James. Blake. <laughs> <laughs> and today, hey, we got a dragon, so what do you say? Uh, so there's a lot of different types of dragons out there. There's red, yellow, blue, green, white, black, gold, copper, silver. Brass. Brass. Uh, force. Deep. Shadow. Amethyst, crystal? jade, crystal, diamond, half. There's a, there's a lot of them. Born, lance, <laughs> age, <laughs> age. There's lots of dragons. What we're saying because <laughs> dragons. dragons are <laughs> cool. Dragon uh, some video games in there and some TV show references. <laughs> yeah. Heart, heart. Yeah. Uh. But yeah, they're split into metallic and chromatic. Uh, and gem. And gem. And whatever else they decide want to have. Yeah, there's like primordial. There's, and there's god like dragon, that. five-headed. There's god dragons. Lava, hellfire, worms. Oh god. Worms or wyrms? Worm. Wyrms. It's actually Wyrms. 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 Just like Dungeons and Dragons. Woo! Make everything weird. Yes. <laughs> now, the thing about dragons is, when you hear Dungeons and Dragons, you assume you must fight a lot of dragons. Sometimes the case. Depends who the DM is. But I think what a lot of people always say is, dragons should be fucking hard to fight. Yeah. Because when you think about it, it should be really hard to fight something that can naturally fly, can naturally breathe fucking fire, or whatever element it decides and can cast spells, and is usually smarter than you. Yes. So they shouldn't just hide in a hole while a barbarian hits him with a hammer. Yeah. But sometimes that's the way uh, a DM decides to play a dragon. Well, and I mean, aren't dragons technically the embodiment of magic? They can be, sure. I mean, it's what Ethan always says. But that's what that, Ethan always says. I thought I said that in the description. Probably does. I don't read, I don't read well. I don't read well. <laughs> I'll get the basic understanding. And I look at the picture and I look at the stat there. block and I, <laughs> and I see how they're supposed to fight and that's usually yeah. what gets me unless I really need to go in deep on it. Yeah, I mean, you can go two different ways with it. I mean, if you're having a dragon campaign then you're probably going to be using dragons a lot but it it does lend itself to a certain amount of impact when you use them more thematically or more like as a set piece rather like or like a big boss yeah like if you don't see him that often and all of a sudden there's this huge giant dragon like you're like oh oh fuck like what do we do what do we do what do we do yeah uh, Varba, are you, <laughs> you yeah, fucking dude. idiot that's a fucking red dragon what are you thinking he's I, immune to that i thought it was kind of cool how like each color has its own like personality to it yeah um so like like black and green seem to be more sneaky and conniving whereas like blue and uh, red seem more like arrogant or prideful. boisterous yep um, gold are very arrogant but yet willing to do the right thing in a way yeah they're, they're very, very self-righteous self-righteous like, like paladinish yeah and i think like silver was just like you know just the do-gooder like they're they're, they're okay with being seen around with the common folk yeah those are uh, pretty good dudes. Yeah. yeah. But each one has has its own like spin to it and uh, flavor, I guess. And, mm -hmm. Like the metallic ones, they can uh, turn into humans. Yep. Or shapeshift, um, which kind of gives an extra layer of uh, you know role playing and stuff like that to them. You can have the two copper dragon sisters from the uh, uh, Cell Sword trilogy that end up banging Jarlaxel. Yep. Fucking Jarlaxel, man. You have cool stuff like that. Uh, stuff, like, there's uh, there's even dragons in other games, of course. Like, dra there's dragon lance. But the, my favorite thing I've ever seen a dragon in is a sh uh, Shadowrunner. All right? Yeah, Shadowrun. Uh, because what they are is 
every dragon is is a uh, he's like the guy that like like uh, handles like your missions. I don't think this is every, but like what a lot of them are is like they're shape shifted humans that will m- handle your missions. They're kind of like uh, Kevin Spacey and Baby Driver. Okay. <laughs> and they're all named Mr. Johnson. <laughs> and they're cool. just like, yes, we need to have this high-value target uh, taken out. And here's how you're going to do it. And it's like, oh, I'm working for a dragon, by the way. Fuck yeah. Like, always cool stuff like that. Anytime you can have a dragon be smart. Anytime you can have any enemy be smart is awesome. But in particular, dragons. because oh, usually, it's terrifying. Yeah. Because they're fucking powerful, and they have the brains to use that power. If they're a large enough dragon, they can swallow you whole. If not, then, you know, they could always try to pick you up and drop you at 200 feet, and bye-bye. It's happened. Breath weapon. Enough said. Classic breath weapon. Just fly up in circles 250 feet away, drop down, flame. Okay, I'm going to go up higher. Oh, well, the wizard's going to cast fly. Good luck with that, pal. Yeah. You go 1v1 that dragon. Yeah. (laughs) He's the only one in the party. slowly float up. (laughs) More than likely, that dragon's cast fly so he can maneuver better. That's always so have... smart. I never remember to have a dragon do that. Have a dragon cast yeah. fly so he doesn't have to worry about having dumb wings. If I'm not mistaken, didn't uh, that happen to Ethan? Or it happened to Exia, I'm sorry. Probably. I know Exia got, I, got dropped Exia on got his dropped. head. <laughs> yep. Which made me mad. <laughs> it's always one of those things that you learn a new rule after it would have saved you. And I learned that if you hit somebody before they start a grapple, even a dragon, the grapple fails. So every time that dragon went to pick me up and I smack its hand, it would have went, ow, and not picked me up. Oh, really? Yes. Meh. Yeah. Actually, it would have been alive. But didn't happen. Got dropped on his head. And he died. So sad. Okay. That's how our most badass character in that campaign died. It's the only way he got it is cheap. Yep. In five, you guys rode on a dragon's back and dropped bombs onto a city. Yep, picked up a bunch of fucking <laughs> explosive arrow or explosive ballista bolts and just went. All right, now drop them. <laughs> he was. Like, it's always so like that that face the DM makes when he's trying to understand what convoluted <laughs> thing the players want to do. I want to. I want to. I want to do this and throw some stuff off and see if it blows right. up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It, what? Or when, like, you're trying to, like, add something just to add flavor to whatever's going on. Like, yeah, these ballistas, they explode on impact. Well, well, I didn't really think that, like, we could just gather it all up and just, just drop it. Well, yeah. <laughs> and then that's when you have to go, well, <laughs> here <laughs> we go. <laughs> so dragons are obviously awesome. And everybody wants to, wants to have that dragon power because they have so much power. Mm-hmm. So we've they've always had certain kinds of things. They've had... Uh, half dragons. They've had yep. sorcerers with dragon blood. They've had you know dragon weapons, dragon's breath spells, and they've even had dragonborn in three, five, and I think fourth edition too. What do you think makes people like so drawn to wanting to have that power? Power is power. It doesn't matter whether it's good power or bad power. I mean, and then that kind of goes back to does absolute power corrupt absolutely? Yeah. Does, or do you use that power for good? Yeah. Does being a half dragon should that kind of predispose you to being kind of a dickhead, or, or moreover like uh, classes that are like dragon disciple or diamond dragon stuff that make you become more dragon like? Yeah. Should that also kind of have you inherit some of those uh, arrogant dragon qualities? Yeah, I mean, you can kind of role play with it too. Like, let's say you have dragon bloodline and you're. Bloodline is like blue dragon. Well, maybe that plays into your personality a bit, and like, like a, a part of your struggle is trying to like overcome that and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Always trying to do something. Always trying to figure out how to like try to work in like the struggle of being of being something like wholly unhuman and trying to fit in. Trying to argue with. The basic nature of self and identification. Yep. Something Evelyn is kind of doing. Right. I should probably develop more into her character. Because she's a red dragon or gold dragon? She's a gold dragon. Gold dragon sorcerer. So she's got all the kind of draconic traits. Yeah. Growing scales, all those cool things. Little RP thing I wanted to do. It's like she has scales all over her hands so everybody (laughs) knows she's a gold dragon. And besides it looks like rings so it's like shiny. And uh, 
Like for half dragons, or not half dragons, rather, uh, dragonborn. Yeah. Uh, I was really liking, because once again, reading up the Brimstone Angels books, they have a character in there named Clanless Mahen, because he decided that he was going to go against what his clan wanted to do, so they kicked him out. Because usually your Vergus Athurgish, or whatever your uh, clan name is, and then your last name, so he would be Vergus Athurgish Mahen, but since they kicked him out, now he's Clanless Mahen. So, mm-hmm. like, Always has like this, like always has this really gruff exterior because he was a fucking soldier, and like decided like he's gonna be the only person that does the right thing in this village full of uh, misfits and adopt these two uh, tiefling orphans and just becomes super dad throughout the whole thing. And then you realize three books in, oh, also he's gay and it's not even a big deal at all. Yeah. He's still a fucking ass kicker and he's yeah. still awesome. And it's like it's not even like a big deal in their society. It's just like well, you suck because you can't, like, procreate and, like, have our society go on. But it's not, like, we hate you because you're gay. It's more like we hate you because you're not going to, you know, Confused. hatch any eggs. It is what it is. Uh, Ethan actually had a gay character in uh, one shot that I did. Oh, yeah? Yeah, we were uh, gladiators. We it? just did, like, four or five <laughs> fights mm-hmm. in a night that, like, nobody else could show up. So, yeah, it was it's- fun. It's always cool to have, like, kind of exploring those very, uh, very real world, uh, problems, Issues. even through the lens of dragons. It's always something rad like that. Yeah. Which I always, always love Dragonborn just because they get the innate power and you can play them as a character, mm-hmm. especially now in fifth edition since they're in the player's handbook. Yeah. But, uh, not only do they make great characters but they can make great enemies as well Mm -hmm. so like rise of tiamat like i would expect you fighting a crap load of like red dragonborn i don't i'm not sure i haven't read it but from what i understand of dragonborn that would actually be the opposite of what they would want to do because dragon yeah dragonborn were originally basically just slaves that were bred from dragons and like as soon as they became a part because they lived on a thing called a beer and then they came to torel when like the two planes overlapped so they were basically like cool we don't like gods anymore we're not going to be slaves to anybody we're not going to do any of this shit so in some ways like maybe there are people that are like still slaves yeah there maybe there's some people like oh we need to like i have no idea what to do with my hands so i need to find a master yeah but other people might actively go oh there's some evil dragon god (laughs) trying to take over the world and enslave it (laughs) fuck that here comes the dra- here comes the dragon army. Yeah. I've always thought of it as more like a typling thing too, or it's more like a general like taboo, like like, you know, demon man, dragon man, like red, mm-hmm. red like if he's like a red dragon. Yeah, born, especially. Like people are gonna think like, oh man, is he evil just because he's a red dragon? Yeah. But like no, that's not the case. Uh, you know, exactly. You know, he could be evil, but yeah, he always that, could that's be. his choice. Do you have a paladin in the party? No. Then you don't know. Then you can't sniff out my evil. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Then you don't know. Then you don't know. Um, and I love how most of the actual dragons usually go based on, like, red dragons, chaotic evil, mm-hmm. and what, black dragons, lawful evil, right? Probably. Uh, probably. I don't remember off the top of my head, but yeah. Yeah. You do something like that. I think black are, like, neutral, and red is, like, lawful. No, I, won't. I know for a fact red's chaotic evil. I'll believe all of you. Oh. <laughs> I'll believe all of you. <laughs> uh, but there's also a couple other dragons that... There's one you didn't mention that was the Deep Dragon, which is a 3-5 thing. Mm-hmm. I don't know if they carried over in full, or I doubt it carried over in 5. It might be like... They might count it as like a Shadow Dragon or something like that. Yeah, probably. Because is. isn't that what... Uh, doesn't uh, Nexus have that as a bloodline? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Because his mom's a freak. I believe it. <laughs> Nexus is a bit of a freak himself, so. You know, it's always a thing, like, players always want to have some part dragon in them, and then DMs always want to either make something part dragon or make dragon part something else. Yeah. Which is where we get stuff like the Draco Lich. Oh, God. Which is just a giant skeleton <laughs> yeah. dragon that can still do magic and stuff, and also it's a lich, so it has immense power. Yeah. It's like, oh, I'm just going to switch to another body, or another lizard creature. <laughs> Always so much fun. And then there's, like, what they, Vampo, Vampo Dragons, Vampire oh, Dragons. Oh, no, I haven't even seen that. That's I'll, terrifying. Well, I think maybe I was, I was like, uh, 
concept art, but always just everybody like everything wants to have a little bit of a dragon in it. Oh yeah. I don't I don't know where I saw it, but I saw like like a some type of like uh, aberration dragon or is like mind flare related. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And it like you know it had like its grapple yeah. and all that stuff that. and like mind effects. I'm like Jesus Christ. <laughs> Can I just go hide in another <laughs> plane of existence? Like it didn't have <laughs> I don't want to fight that. Thing. I don't think it even had a breath attack cuz it was just like a tentacle mm-hmm. or uh, a mouth. It is is freaky looking. It probably had a what mo- most mind flayers have is a, a the grapple a, thing. No, the concussive blast. Yeah. Uh, like, I'm like, pretty <laughs> sure it definitely had something like that. Yeah. But so how have you guys fought dragons? Uh, well, when we did the Dragon Slayer arc in uh, the Hunter campaign. Not well, is what you're about to say. Which is not very well at all. Uh-huh. But we the few a... dragons we did kill, we kind of snuck up on. Yeah. We killed a Draco Lich, didn't we? Yep. Yeah, we did yeah. kill a Draco Lich. I blasted it. Yeah, you did. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. had a few weeks. James killed that thing. We just provided distraction. As as we've said multiple times about Neo, it was all right. Neo, now shoot it. And then that's how our uh, yeah. tactics went. Yeah. That was basically the cannon point yeah. and shoot. Point and shoot. But on weeks when we didn't have uh, him, it was always like we had planned out like a fucking like a SWAT team infiltration. Oh god, yeah, like it was super tactical. There was one week where it was. Uh, it's just I showed up and then like you said you were gonna show up and then you couldn't and then he couldn't show up and so it was actually the week we got before the Draco Lich in mm-hmm. the Hunter campaign and so I was like having to hide with Neo which Ethan was like because we made him the default autopilot mode Neo he's like I'm not gonna roll any cell checks for him he can just make it and you have to roll your own I was like okay that's fair. Mm-hmm. So I had to like sneak past like an army of undead to get even into the place, and I had to figure out this puzzle, and that was pretty fun. Because that's something that a dragon should always have some minions. Oh yes, and something to guard his horde. Yes, because that's the main reward for fighting a dragon. What were they? That is were getting his. Horde. Oh god, they were mummies. That's right. So I had to sneak past Ooh, all of them. Fuck a mummy. <laughs> I was like, I am not dealing with this. I'm gonna sneak past all this. Yeah, even like the metallic dragons, like want to have a hoard of some kind Mm -hmm. or like they really like like jewelry or gold or stuff like that they like their shinies yeah Yeah, they do is there like an uh in-game reason for that does anyone know i think they eat it don't they some Uh, just dragon like some just dragons eat it Mm -hmm. love just hordes and gold i don't like sleep i think that goes back to smaug smaug yeah Yeah. Yeah. i think i was reading like lord of the rings token like the gold dragons they even prefer like antique art and like stuff like that. Oh, that'd mean, be that'd, that'd be a that's nice little touch. Is that touch. like I don't like I don't want just gold. I want you to spend it on the finest art in the gold. The finest art. I mean, magic items can be considered art in a way. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Craftsmanship. Craftsmanship. And it's like uh, the gem dragons like having gems around them. Yeah, they rather have like fancy like oh give me sapphires and stuff like that. <laughs> the uh, I'm pretty sure they just straight up eat gyms and stuff i'm pretty sure they do it's always possible <laughs> you try hard enough you can do anything you want <laughs> if you try hard enough the way i always wanted to have dragons like i wanted to have that philosophy of they're really intelligent and there's fighting one should be an event yeah and that is until like i didn't have a single dragon in my flat world of campaign until i had them st- stumble into the red hand of doom which, if you don't know what that is, that is basically a kind of precursor to the uh, uh, rise of Tiamat. So it's just a an evil army called the Red Hand is attempting to uh, summon Tiamat, and they're gonna like s- like swamp over this entire nation and try to do as much damage as they possibly can until they get Tiamat Rosen. And then once that, like once I got into that, I had them fight. I think I had them start fighting the dragons that are in the book, but the ones in the book aren't very tough compared to the level that they're expected to fight at. Yeah, like didn't you throw some feats from the Draconomicon and so I completely remixed them. Yeah, and then when you do that and combine it with the fact that you're making your dragons far more intelligent roleplay wise, you end up having this black dragon that beat the complete shit 
out of the entire party. Nexus is scarred. He is like, scarred for life because bad. this thing acided the shit out of him. He was he was pretty at one time, but now he's like half burnt. So I had him fight. <laughs> he looks like the hound. <laughs> I had him fight that green dragon. He didn't change. I think I made him a size category larger. It's like an empty toothpaste bottle. It made him. Oh. <laughs> Thanks, James. <laughs> Thanks, James. I don't want to play the flower campaign. <laughs> we walk around like this. And you're fucking soulless. Oh, yeah, and he got his soul sucked out. Thanks a lot, Ethan. Yeah. <laughs> or Kryn. So, so we had him fight a uh, a normal old green dragon. <laughs> Things don't look good for <laughs> Things do not look good for Nexus. <laughs> a rat bastard black dragon. Ugh, god damn it. And instead of doing a white dragon... They're making it that simple. And instead of doing the Bahir that they have you fight in uh, that ga- in that game, I changed it to a Fang Dragon, so he was still white. But basically their entire thing is that they are made of spikes. And all they want to do is kill you. And that's how that. Yamez died. <laughs> I don't remember that fight. I don't remember it. No. Oh, the thing where you fight a couple Yamez red died. dragons in the city? Yeah. yeah, well, you fought. that was the climax kind of thing of okay. that part. Maybe it was. Yeah, because, well, I think you end up killing that and then maybe dying, like, right before that. Or oh, something yeah, because like the that. red yeah. dragon showed up and then didn't the fang dragon show up, like, right after that? No, they killed the fang. You guys killed the fang dragon right out in front of yeah. the, uh... I just remember his life. I don't, was super I don't think short. I, I might not have been there for that fight. You might not have. But, yeah, it was when he had his, uh, halfling warlock. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I barely remember him. Yeah, he, he lasted, <laughs> like, three sessions. <laughs> yeah, he did not last very long. <laughs> nope. He got sh- his shit pushed in yeah. pretty hard. We had I'm, that guy. I'm excited to play that mo- the monk I made for that. For which one? Yeah. Oh, for that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And then we had we went to the the place where you're supposed to have one big red dragon, and I decided, nah, I'm gonna have something. I'm gonna call him the Twin Inferno. So it's one big fat red dragon, one little skinny red dragon, and the skinny one is has really good claws, and the fat red dragon has really fat red uh fat uh breath weapon. And that's what killed your panther. Yep. And that, that was that probably was, that fight was awesome. One of the best like I like mental images of Nexus like able to block a, <laughs> block a couple attacks. So basically, he's standing on a burning rooftop with a red dragon like p- trying to push him off, and then like his panther gets on his back, and that guy just grabs him and throws him off. Yeah, like such a great mental image right there. That was like one of the best fights Nexus was ever in. Mm-hmm. I don't know how I like. I got it was all those rolls were complete luck. He the dragon was rolling shit. Oh, I yeah, was rolling you fucking good. Stabbed him to death. I st- like. It was almost. It was pretty much a solo fight. It was basically um, a solo fight against the fu- dragon. You actually killed most of those dragons in that campaign. I did. That, you, that died. <laughs> I did. I remember there was one uh, like undead dragon that we fought. Yep. Towards the end. That's where that's where I was going. Then yeah. there was the thunder dragon, which I made the fought or th- yeah in the. In the book, they make it the father of the uh, the main bad guy because he's a half dragon, and <laughs> fucking that's when Ethan and Alex were going solo and decided to piss off that dragon. And basically, I'm like, well, they can't stand up to him one one versus one or two versus one. So basically, he just caused a mudslide, and that's also what split the party up, which is because we're supposed to have more people there. So I'm like, yeah. oh, they get buried on the mudslide, but the two people that here aren't. Hopefully, they're gonna run or something. Uh, no. But no, they nope. fought and died. Well, I'm a werebear, so I can take a dragon. Nah. Well, I'll kick open the door. <laughs> yeah, <I'll kick laughs> Didn't work. <laughs> Didn't work. They had lots of dragon spawn. Yeah. Which was more of that problem, because also I couldn't identify them as dragon spawn, because they were supposed to be new to the world. Yeah. And that finally all culminated with, well, it's supposed to be an aspect of Tiamat, like you're supposed to make it there just in the nick of time, but oh no, the the uh, summoning went halfway through, so now there's like a halfway powered Tiamat there. And I was like, eh, it doesn't feel it doesn't feel like you halfway stopped it. If like oh a slightly too small Tiamat shows up, yeah. So I was like, oh, they stop it, but a Draco Lich Tiamat shows up. Oh god, and then that was what murdered Robbie with acid. Yep, or Nexus rather. I think that was the time that my character actually got a shine with his cleric abilities. Yeah. Next character I'm making is going to be immune to acid. It's all I'm saying. In your next campaign, I'm making immune to acid because fuck you. (laughs) Just kick your ass with fucking acid all the time. 
God damn it, acid damage. <laughs> and that's, like, I guess a grand total of, like, seven dragons. Yeah. And I feel like I gave them all at least kind of their own gimmick in their own way of standing out. Like, they were all, like, the showstopper at that point in time. And have left scars <laughs> on players ever since. Which is always a great way to make an enemy feel really fucking scary and dangerous. Uh, that's why I hate dragons so much. Which is why we try to do a Dragon Slayer campaign. Or at least an arc of a hunter campaign. Yeah. And It started off well, but then I he just kind of petered out on it. It got... It, the difficulty ramped up too hard, and we were like, and everybody was like, wanting we can't to fight that, and we were all wanting to get towards the end of it. So we were just like, let's go ahead and abridge this. Neo didn't I wanted, die from I dragons. wanted to go full balls out Dragon War, kind of like what you guys did with the giant campaign, I, which I, I think I went a little too over top with, but nah, it was fun. You had that whole Goblin War or Goblin Orc, yeah, War. <laughs> the Earth Elemental is so awesome mm-hmm. for that. <laughs> and you want to get rid of that character? Yeah, I, I want to play something else. But um, yeah, Bas- basically for that campaign, I had like this random item from an item table, mm-hmm. and it turned out to be like the summoning stone for Earth Elemental, like a huge one. Yeah, it's in like an Elder Elemental or something like pretty that. Pretty overpowered yeah. for my level, and basically it's infinite. Like every couple of rounds, I can summon a new one. So mm-hmm. it's like, oh well, I send another one yep. send and another one, one. <laughs> <laughs> but like from a distance too. Did he still have that? I yeah, at, at the that very point, end. yeah, because yeah. you were trying to hide behind it, but I was like, but like that blast also killed the elemental. I was like, sorry, oh, there's a yeah. fucking tidal wave of acid coming yeah. your way. It just melts through this elemental. It's like I don't remember that. Yeah. Oh yeah, because it died. You were trying to hide behind <laughs> it, and he just goes, "Line, oh, it's gone." Sorry. Yeah. God damn it, acid damage. <laughs> I'm just gonna make a half dragon for your next campaign. I don't care what the level adjustment is, I'm gonna roll up with a half dragon. <laughs> immunity to acid. Everyone, everyone wants to be a dragon rider. Like, mount a dragon and ride it. Ooh. It's always the best part. That would be fun. I would even, I'd have to make a mage just so. Either like a mage or a range fighter or something. <laughs> yeah. Just, just an archer. So you can shoot down from the Or a paladin and just be like, Rocket Lance, baby, let's do this. Like a one, was it? Who were the race that had bows on horses? The race that has bows on horses, That's like the, everyone, human, like the civilization, like. Apache, Indians. No. Oh, are you Dothra- talking Game of Thrones? Dothraki? Dothraki? No, I think I think it was like Mongolians, but <laughs> oh, oh the yeah. goddamn Mongolians, <laughs> damn yeah. Mongolians. <laughs> Yeah, I think it's it, but like basically it's like a whole style of fighting of just like using bows while riding a horse. Mm-hmm. Imagine someone riding a dragon. Like, I love how like our inner nerd just immediately goes Dothraki. <laughs> Dothraki. Like, no, I'm Dothraki. talking about real life. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's just one race of people. <laughs> Thanks. When you're talking about D and D, we did an I mean, entire Game episode on race. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Dragons. <laughs> dragons. <laughs> uh, but halflings also good for that too. There's a halfling outrider that's really pissed. A halfling on a on a small dragon. Oh god, that would be so awesome. cute. <laughs> so cool. Make a paladin. Oh, halfling paladin. Uh, dragon. cavalier. Get dragon knight halfling somehow. outrider. I think yeah. it's just dragon mount. It's like a fucking feat you can just take. Oh really? I think so. I think it's like it just changes your holy mount to a dragon. Hmm. Do it for the future. I might do it. <laughs> well, I mean, we'll have... Eh. I don't know. I think Air I'm sport. stuck on the uh, War Mage Artificer for the future. Do you think so? I think so. I think we're stuck with this dragon stuff. <laughs> I think we've spit out all we can. All you gotta know is we've dragons... We've used all are... of our breath weapon. <laughs> There's only so many colors. <laughs> all you gotta know is when you make a dragon, have when you have your players fight it, make it smart. Mm-hmm. If they corner it in its cave, awesome, but it should have a way out of its own cave. If they, uh, if they, like, have, like, found, like, a really small dragon, have Mama Dragon right around the corner. If they think they're tough enough to fight it out in the country, just let them know that it will fly up, fly down, <laughs> grab its, grab the small one, bye, and go fight it somewhere else. It'll take it to the next mountaintop yeah. and throw it off there. 
I think or swallow you whole. Didn't Russ straight up get eaten? Yeah, for my dragon. Yeah, he did. No, I killed it. I oh no, no wait, he was about him. to be. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. You're just like you, I'm gonna you, stab it to death. Yeah, you, or I'm gonna stab him to death. Yeah, started it and you finished it. Yeah, I did. Uh, another thing for dragons is if you're doing three five, look up the Draconomicon. Draconomicon, races Dra- of dragon, races of dragons, something like that. They have excellent feats, excellent um, Ma- alternative dragon class features magic. To that dragon magic. And if you're doing five, fuck it, give it elemental adept for whatever its primary fire component is. It's like you know what, if that player has resistance to fire, let's say that red dragon can be like, I don't care if you have resistance. Fuck you, you're taking full damage. Take you right out of that. Yep. There's like 650 feats. For dragons in three five. Oh god! So if you're looking to build one yeah. that acids the shit out of everybody, that can do oh. lingering damage, that can get his breath weapon back faster, that can make it shoot twice the distance. Oh. I mean, that guy have like I think almost a hundred and twenty foot. And his breath save weapon. was high. Yes, that was all he did was shoot acid. Dude, Nexus has retarded reflex saves, and I mean he made like none of them. Actually, what he had was. Retarded, uh, retardedly good uh, ability to shoot acid and really good ability to fly. So we kept up with uh, yeah, Kryn. Yeah. <laughs> and that's the go home sound. <laughs> Thanks for joining us on Dice Casters, and we will see you next time. Next time.